Well, this is the Gen 4's Oddities West German Pottery YouTube channel. But right now I'm going to talk about an East German company, Grauman Romhild. And I should note that all of my pronunciations are anglicized and by no means are proper Germanic pronunciations. Grauman uh, specialized in volcanic glazes so if volcanic is your style they are certainly a company you should be looking at. Unlike the West German pottery companies, Grauman volcanic glazes tended to be rather refined. Uh, you wouldn't normally say elegant with a volcanic glaze but it often applies to Grauman. The craters as you can see here are frequently small to moderate size and usually rounded. You won't find the uh, extremely fat, uh, rather rugged glazes that you find on some of the West German volcanic or fat lava glazes. Uh, but Grauman was actually making volcanic glazes almost a decade before the West German pottery volcanic and fat glazes uh, started production. Uh, at least that information is based on uh, the books by Horst Makus. I have not uh, independently confirmed it. And they certainly did more than purple. It just happens that I have a preference for the purple glazes. If you take a look, uh, notice that even the shapes, which are hand thrown by the way, tend to have additional elegance and an attention to detail that stands out with Grauman items. As you can see on this picture form, the craters are mostly rather small. A few, well you don't even want to call them larger, just not quite as small. But if you start looking more closely you'll see that there are at least four color variations on this vase, not counting the darker shading at the top and bottom. Now this is one of my personal favorites in terms of Grauman shapes. You can see that the uh, craters, uh, well there are a few larger ones and you have a little bit more of the veining, that's my name for it, uh, although you will find you know, even more distinctive veining on some of the items, and that creates quite a sense of movement, motion. Uh, it doesn't show very well on camera, but this also has a little bit thicker glaze, especially where it begins to drip and gather underneath the top half of the gourd. It's not what I would call a fat lava glaze, just a bit overweight. Now this glaze is a little confusing, uh, which is not necessarily uncommon with some of the Grauman glazes. I am not actually sure <laughs> if it is a speckled glaze or a volcanic glaze that has a clear overcoat that seals okay that seals the craters and our last example which as you can see is definitely <laughs> non-volcanic this is actually later Grauman production as with many of the companies, uh, later production tended to include a higher percentage of utilitarian work or merely decorative, not necessarily rising to the level of art. This is actually one of my favorites of their later work with the semi-matte black background and the purple bands that are in turn banded by a high gloss black. The Grauman Mark 
features a T slash over an R, which stands for Top Frere Romhild. And again, that's an anglicized pronunciation. Uh, that roughly translates to Gromhild, or excuse me, Gromman Studio. And the Gromman production was really somewhere in between uh, studio work and more traditional commercial art pottery. On the left is the earlier Gromman mark, which is smaller, and it uh, can either be incised or impressed. The mark on the right is much larger and uh, both can get rather sloppy so unless you know what it is you may not be able to figure it out but it is distinctive enough that you will recognize it once you know it. And as you can see they did use a somewhat lighter clay still has a red tone uh, on the later work. I really don't know just when they switched marks. I've yet to see any confirmation on that. So I do suggest that if you have an interest in West German pottery you might also want to travel a bit to the east and look at Grauman and several of the other East German companies that were making some very collectible art pottery in the East-West German era. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll click the link in the description below the video and visit our site. You'll find more information in the blog and of course you'll find some items for sale. In the meantime, enjoy the hunt and good luck.